Hey everyone, welcome back to Talk To Me Tuesday. It's Tuesday, June 29th, 2010, and I'm Jennifer, uh, back again for another hopefully fun Talk To Me Tuesday. So I wanna give you a little tour. My sewing room has changed significantly less since last week. Um, my husband and son have uh, taken up painting miniatures, which is something that my husband did years ago, and they really needed a workspace, so I gave them a wall in my studio so that which studio is really pompous, but I don't know what else to call it because it's a sewing room, a craft room, an office. They paint in here, so we're just gonna pretend and call it studio. I'm gonna show you guys my more functioning workspace. This wall used to have my design wall on it, and this is now um, the big guy and the little guy's uh, workspace. And here are a couple of their miniatures. This is the one my 12 year old painted, and this is the one that my husband's working on. That's the back of it, and I don't want to touch it, so I guess we won't see the front. This bookcase was here, I think, the last time I did a tour, but I've added the curtain that used to be in the closet. Um, we've got my cutting table over here, which actually has a couple of in progress projects, and of course, my Harry Potter poster. Uh, these are like IKEA shelves that have all kinds of sewing supplies, Velcro, and pins, and that kind of stuff in there. And then I have some random swap items that I keep up here. My Pink Floyd posters, of course, and more um, gifts and swaps from other crafty people. And this is my wonderful favorite sewing machine that I adore. Um, my show and tell is right there. We'll get to that in a minute. My design wall is now over here. There used to be a big metal um, shelf over here, which is now in the closet. This is um, my ironing area, which you see behind me all the time and Talk To Me Tuesday with my owl who is, he's actually a signature owl that I took to Phoenix Rising and he was a collaborat collaborative effort between myself and Dragon Singer and you can see he's got all kinds of signatures on him and he's got signatures on the back and all kinds of fun people sign this. This cabinet has this has all of my like little odds and ends, my pins and my and some of my beads and just all kinds of little crafty things. This is just sort of a little collection of stuff up here. Everyone needs a snape shaped hole, so I have a snape shaped hole there and beads and other, these are souvenirs. Um, it's actually a little bit stuffed right now, but it's got, you can see it's got glue and paint and paint brushes and my staple gun and the official glue of Talk To Me Tuesday, which I haven't even opened yet. And it's also got uh, random swaps and things I've received and all kinds of goodies. So if you've ever wanted to see it, it's on my top shelf. Now you can see it and you can't really tell from here, but these are the legs of my Snape Dammit doll. I'm afraid if I pull them out, I'll have an avalanche. So let's see what happens if I pull them out. This is my Snape Dammit doll. I made him a few years ago. And the idea is when you get really frustrated, you grab him by the legs and you bang him. Biggest change happened was in this closet. This was just crap top to bottom before. I've got school supplies back there now and there's a wire shelf all the way in the back. And yes, there is a window in this closet because the, I guess the developers of this neighborhood were on crack or something. So um, actually the, there's another layout of this house where this room is, in, is a loft and, I, and in that layout, the window makes sense, but it doesn't make sense in this one. Um, and then we added this bookcase. It's just an inexpensive flat pack bookcase. But what it did was is it got all of my books and magazines out of the, the regular sewing room and I got all of my little plastic containers organized. Some UFOs, I have my extra bags for craft projects, gift wrap, and then this you don't ever see, but it's in most of my videos, which is my tripod, and I already have it set up to the hide I like. And then behind it, I have all my button stuff, which is actually really easy to get to, because all I have to do is walk in and grab it. And that is pretty much it. So I have a few things for show and tell. Um, anyone that keeps up with me online knows that I went live with my Sew Hook store last week. I'm really excited about that. You can get to the Sew Hook shop by going to sewhook.org forward slash shop or just go to sewhook.org and if you look in the right menu of the newly redesigned website, which I spent weeks redesigning, you can just click on shop and um, it'll take you right to the shop page. There aren't a lot of products right now, but I have a lot of things lined up that I'm still working on and getting the patterns ready for. And I actually have a new set of patterns that should be out by Friday and I'm going to give you guys a sneak peek. 
So what I'm working on is a complete set of Nordic runes. Um, I've been kind of teasing you guys about being a complete set of patterns. And I'm not going to show you all of them, but I'm going to show you a little bit. This is a an almost complete set of Nordic runes. If you know anything about runes, you'll know what these mean. And they're fairly simple patterns, not hard to make, but it is going to be a complete set. And I'm still working out the pricing on that, but it's 24 patterns, paper piece, all designed by me, all original, hand drawn, etc. on uh, in Photoshop like I do all my patterns. And very exciting, I'll sell those as a set. It'll be one giant PDF file and you will get them all at one time. And those should be online by Friday or Saturday. I'm really hoping for Friday, so keep an eye out for those. So if you're really interested in runes or want to add some runes to a project you're working on, um, runes play a part in a lot of the mythologies of a lot of the fantasy stories that I love, like Harry Potter and Tolkien and stuff. So I, that's very exciting for me because these are based in actual history. Um, I, like I said, they're Nordic runes. So I'm excited to get those online. Those have been really fun to draw and really fun to piece. I'm participating in a postcard swap and I actually need to get these mailed probably in the next day or two. I might hold on to them till Thursday because I'd like to show my bee as well. Um, so the postcard swap is, it's a recipe swap where you send a postcard with a recipe that you have tried. And this is actually my recipe. Um, and it's my recipe for fruit cobbler. And I had this fantastic fabric that I got on retreat. And if you can see this, these are blackberries, which I adore. I love blackberries. And then what I did was I made these a lot like I make my ATCs with the fast diffuse um, heavyweight um, interfacing that's double sided um, iron on. And then on the other side, this is a totally new thing for me. This is printed on vellum. And I was a little worried. I've used vellum in the past and I've had trouble with the ink smearing. So I actually use spray um, polycrylic a sealant. So this has a glossy spray on it. And then after that dried, I cut it out. And this is stitched on here. And then this is actually embroidered where it says postcard swap. I did that with my sewing machine. And these edges are just satin stitched with a sulky, I think it's sulky thread that I had from a class I took a while back. And so I still need to put the addresses and then the stamp will go here. Last week or week before, Luna Nila, formerly known as Besh Nila, um, showed her Sisterhood of the Traveling Project that she was working on. I had put mine away and they got buried and I found them while we were cleaning this weekend and so I pulled them out and I had always intended to make mine into a cushion. I'm still intending on making it into a cushion cover so this is a little messy because all the ends are still hanging out but this is what I've got so far and you can see how I've been putting these together and then I'm putting a, a brown edge on this side and then I will put a brown edge on this side. This is actually going to be a cushion cover that I go over an existing cushion. If you guys haven't checked out the Sew Hook store, I'm not asking you to buy anything but I would love your feedback. So if you go have a look and just see what you think. Um, I'd love to hear suggestions for products that you would like to see. I'm not making any promises as of what I'll get online, but I love ideas and I'm happy to try to accommodate the desires of, of different people. I'm really excited that I get to do this this way because I'm publishing what I want to publish and I'm not waiting for someone else to tell me it's okay to publish or it's mainstream or people will buy it. If people buy it, that's exciting and happy and it'll help me pay for my kids college if people don't buy it then you know I haven't ruined any publishing plans for anyone it's all this is all me I've done it all by myself I'm very excited about it and um, I would not be where I am right now without the Harry Potter fandom and the quilters that I know online and the crafters that I know online and I really appreciate all the support I've had from you guys and I can see Tackett out of the corner of my eye chasing his tail. So if you can see me looking over and laughing, that's why I'm doing it. Um, I will see you guys next week. Have a great week. Bye.